April 19th, 2006, Portola, Northern California. Manuel Murillo and Salvador Cardenas woke early and started driving to a remote cabin in the high Sierras. By day's end, only one of them would go home alive. The men were using an air-powered nail gun to install wood paneling inside the cabin perched eight miles up a snowy, unplowed road. And one misfired nail would soon change everything. He nailed and set the gun on the scaffold. The mistake was that the gun was placed from the trigger on the scaffold tube. He leaned forward since the trigger was pushed, but that gun doesn't work if you don't push the tip. But when he got there and leaned on the gun, it fired off. I heard that the gun fired. I'm screwed. So then I turned and said to him, you're crazy, don't play like that. He said, really, Chino? He lifted his shirt and I saw a red dot. Then I said, oh my goodness, let's get out of here. So I got my cell phone and I dialed 911 and I couldn't get a signal because we were up in the forest. I lost control of the truck in the snow and crashed into a pine tree. I got on reverse and then he would tell me, slow down, Chino, hurry, Chino. Then I told him, calm down, I want to hear you, I want to hear you breathe. So then when we were down lower, his cell was able to work. And I said, call your wife. So he called his wife and he told her, I shot myself. Call an ambulance and have them meet us. We're on our way there. His son was with us in the truck. He told him, I love you, son. Take care of your mommy. I said to him, don't say that. You're not going to die. We're going to get there. We're going to get there soon. Breathe. Breathe. I want to hear you breathe. I saw his nails were yellow. And that's when I thought he wasn't going to make it. He wasn't going to make it because his fingernails were yellow. His eyes were rolling. I was yelling at him, but it was impossible. By the time Murillo made it to the Eastern Plumas District Hospital, he was blue and not breathing. Doctors x-rayed his chest, cut it open, and removed the nail, which was resting next to an artery. Murillo didn't lose much blood, but his heart stopped and doctors couldn't save him. Three hundred people packed the church for the funeral. Among them was Michael Flynn, a Southern California attorney who owned the cabin where the tragedy happened. Flynn, a godfather to one of the Murillo children, traveled to Portola to console the widower, Brenda Murillo, and give the eulogy for his friend. Brenda Murillo is now suing Hitachi Koki, maker of the nail gun that killed her husband. She alleges the tool was badly designed and unsafe. The company declined to comment on her lawsuit, but insists its power tools are safe. The man who saw his friend die swears he won't touch nail guns ever again. Well, the safest thing is for them not to be used again, the nail guns, because they're not safe at all.